Hey everyone, Ed here from The Great Indoors, and today we are at the Auto Show at the IX Center in the west of Cleveland. And admission for adults is $15, and it is $12 for seniors if you're over 62 and over. Pre-teens are 12, and kids under 6 are free. I'll see you guys inside. And joining uh, Michelle is Matt. And you may have seen him in one of our previous videos when we went to the Berea train show. How you doing, Matt? Good. Ready to check out some new cars? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. We are looking at the Chevy Colorado. A lot of room for the fam. Nice. Got a roll bar, so you do some off-roading on that. Pretty cool. Only 49,000 and this could be yours. <laughs> Very nice. You guys like the color on that? I don't know. Put it in the comments. Would you have this beige looking color on a car like that? I don't know. I like uh, black or blue, dark blue. I don't know about this color though. Let me know what you think. 49,000 for the Chevy Colorado. The 2022 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. A list price of 54.8. And they don't even list the mileage on it, so what does that tell you right there? It tells you that you're not buying this car if you're looking for good mileage. But if you're looking for something to haul, do some heavy duty work in, this is the vehicle for you. Oh, yeah. Check out the vet. You can't go through a Chevy section without looking at a, a Corvette. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so nice. I'm even afraid to touch it. Oh, awesome. Nineteen MPG, sixty thousand nine hundred. We are here at the Energy Focus booth, and this is the creator of the robot that disinfects your air, Jim. How you doing, Jim? Good, nice to see you. These things are really cool. When Michelle got sick, we kept that going in between us, and I never got sick. So they work. It uses ultraviolet light, I believe, to disinfect the air. Oh, you got an interior look on it. Wow. That's what the bulb looks like on the inside? This is cutting edge technology here for energy focus. If you are wanting to keep your car or your house or your business clean and disinfected with uh, the use of ultraviolet light, then this is the way to go, energy focus. They're located in Solon, Ohio. This is good stuff, Jim. You guys are really doing good work there. We are now in the Jeep area, and you could get in this line for uh, a quick ride on one of the Jeeps over here. So I would need to find Michelle. Her and Matt split off from me a little while ago, and now I don't know where they are. But... I will find them and get them back into the video. There they are. Okay. So do you want to get in line for the uh, Jeep you ride? Go all the way down over there, I think. You want to though? It's up to you. Okay, let's get in line. 
Okay, we are waiting in line to get into the new Ram Dodge, Dodge Ram Power Wagon. And there's the Ram Limited over there. They got a whole, uh, fleet. A whole, whole fleet. course to go on over here. Those tires are pretty squeaky. These people are getting into the Longhorn by Ram. But the next car coming up is going to be the one that me and Michelle get into. That red one back there. Hey, you get your black truck over there, young man. Uh, we're trying to get the black truck. <laughs> man, I got a hot in that right now. Oh, my God. The Dodge Ram Power Wagon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We did not have the automated step up to get in. Oh, do you want to help her in? Hang on. The power wagon does not have the step up. Okay. Thank you. All right. This is our first thing that we did. Oh, perfect. Oh, good air conditioning. We never did. Make sure you strap yourself in, Michelle. I trust her as much as I can. Okay. This is the torquing, the torque feature here. Okay, Michelle, go ahead, hit the camera. There you go. Got, got front seat and back seat cameras going here. So this has got a winch on the front that you could, if you need to haul something or pull something. So it does have a 12,000 pound Warren winch. Um, however, this wall is just currently cooked to our front tow hook. And it does weigh 7,000 pounds. Wow. You can feel the weights all there. Yeah. And nice and easy. Wow, that's pretty cool. It is. We'll let it down safely here. What's going on then around you when you got that going of on? Of course, and then this it's, one's really good for hooking up like a gooseneck trailer by right. itself. Uh, this one's the same for like a bumper pull. Right. Easy. It does show you uh, the side view as well, and then if you have a camera on your trailer already, yeah. it's already prepped so that you can hook that up uh, very easily. And you can watch um, YouTube on there, or probably, or whatever. <laughs> I don't know how big that would be. <laughs> We gotta get our Ooh. YouTube channel on there, okay? <laughs> There's still plenty to look We do a lot of long road trips when we are going on our adventures, so you need to have a little entertainment when you're going long distances. Yeah. I would rather drive anywhere than fly. Yeah, so, so we're always going to Connecticut or Michigan, you know? back here. I love it. You've got heated seats in the front and back, heated steering I wheel. could feel the heat. Trust me. I didn't know if it was me or if it was the heater in here, <laughs> but that is pretty awesome. Yes. You know, the car that we got now is a little Fiesta, and okay. it's a, like a car to get around town, but if we're going on you know, long road trips, it's not a very comfortable vehicle to be in sure. because of how little space there is, and it doesn't heat well in the back. Yes. So, are you getting this, Michelle? Oh boy, oh ho ho! Cedar Point, here we go! And if you needed to, once again, you can pull up that front camera here. And yeah. You right there. So. No, it does have the Harman parts and sound system. Uh, 19th round sounds beautiful. Yeah. 10 inch sub sounds really good, part of the JBL family. And coming down, if you drive in a lot of hilly areas, it has a hill descent feature. So if I push this button here, I could actually take my foot all the way off of the brake. Oh god. And the Your foot is not on the brake like that? Oh wow. The Dodge Ram Power Wagon 2022 version. 
Very awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much, and you'll have a wonderful day. You did a great day. presentation. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're going to get a quote on that Dodge Power Wagon, and we also got a carrying bag out of the deal. We just had to answer a few questions over there, and the Willoughby Ram store will be sending us a quote. That was very fun, but the only thing I didn't have that I didn't like about that was the getting in and out of that car would be a nightmare for Michelle. There was no uh, step over there, and that would be a, a problem going forward. You can't be able to have someone that's got a, a foot problem try to get in and out of that car. I literally had to climb in head first to get into that thing. And if you're, uh, if you're a young guy and you want to impress the ladies, you don't want to be looking like a moron trying to get into that car. But other than that, it was a great vehicle, great presentation. Okay, we're going to get a quote on that Dodge Power Wagon, and we also got a carrying bag out of the deal. We just had to answer a few questions over there, and the Willoughby Ram store will be sending us a quote. That was very fun, but the only thing I didn't have that I didn't like about that was the getting in and out of that car would be a nightmare for Michelle. There was no uh, step over there, and that would be a, a problem going forward. You can't be able to have someone that's got a, a foot problem try to get in and out of that car. I literally had to climb in head first to get into that thing. And if you're, uh, if you're a young guy and you want to impress the ladies, you don't want to be looking like a moron trying to get into that car. But other than that, it was a great vehicle, great presentation. The Triple F Collection. Why have I never heard of these before? I mean, not like I can afford it, but it's pretty awesome. You could probably drive underneath a, a semi with one of these. They're so low to the ground. Triple F Collection. This is the 2022 Ford Edge, which is the new and improved version of what me and Michelle already have with a 2007 Ford Edge. And it's $40,000 compared to the EcoSport, which is 26. And the mileage on this is not as good as the EcoSport, of course. It's a bigger vehicle. And you're going to get a lot more vehicle. But if you're, you know, looking to save money, 40000 is still on the high side to me. But anyway, yeah, you're definitely getting a better quality vehicle overall. But I'll be honest with you, we had nothing but problems with the uh, older version of the Edge with the wheel bearings going bad on the front. It, it was a constant thing with the front end problems. I just wonder if they fixed those problems with the newer versions of the, the Edge over here. To me, I would not be willing to take that chance and going through that all over again with another round of problems with the, the wheel bearings. But it's up to you guys to make that decision. Not me. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this car over here by Ford, the Ford EcoSport, is probably the best valued car that I've seen. It's only 20, I say this, you know, with a smile on my face, but still $26,000. $26, for a car that gets 28 miles per gallon on the freeway. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's uh, not a huge vehicle, but it is still kind of like a, a like a cross between like a, like a caravan type vehicle and a, a full-size SUV. It's got a little bit of both going on there, you know? It is a four-door, and it seems to have um, plenty of room to maneuver in and it's pretty fuel efficient also the ford ecosport not bad for the money twenty six thousand dollars for for a lot of car i think pretty good deal let's take a look at the back end of it not as big as what i have with the edge but those seats could go forward and you could open up a whole nother section pretty cool Ford EcoSport. I do want to see some of these car signs over here. Yeah, something, something that's hey. Wow. 
One for 35, two for 60. Yeah. Wow. Well, you want to talk about classic signs. You got to wonder if that's actual, that is not, it looks like rust, but it's not. It's just made to look like rust over there. Very tricky. Pretty, I'm gonna stay away from that music. <laughs> Pretty awesome. 2022 Cleveland Auto Show. Flags are one for 35, two for 60. Okay, I finally found Matt. I, you've been going around with Michelle quite a bit. Have you seen anything that you like? Well, wait, 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 didn't you just buy a new car recently? Yes. So you just wanted to basically look at the cars anyway yes. to get out of the house? Yes. Yeah. And did, do. did you achieve what you came out here for? Yeah. It's a good time. It's fun. It's kind of crowded though, wouldn't you say? A little bit, but yeah. it's all right. All right. Well, I'll see you. And there's Michelle. Are you having a good time? What has Matt been looking at mostly while he's been here? Just staring out. You know, Taking pictures and stuff like that? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. How about you? Have you seen anything that you like? Did you like that car ride that we went on earlier? Oh, yeah, that was pretty <laughs> bumpy. It was hard to get into it, though, you know? For me, it was, yeah. Yeah, I had to climb in head first to yeah. get in. Because here, I'm I'm holding a phone, yeah. and it's kind of hard to, to climb in yeah. with only one hand, you know? Yeah, and it, then it putting was, a purse and a phone by, yeah. you know, it was, it was a little hard. scary for a second. I didn't think we were going to get in. Awesome section here at the auto show. Not just new cars, but look at the nice classic cars here. Look at this Impala. Holy cow. That is sleek. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. It's so shiny. My dad had an Impala, but it was a, a newer model, obviously, so it was like in the late 70s. I didn't like it, but I could see myself loving this vehicle. Check this out, the car that was used in the, well, I don't think it's the actual car, but it is the kind of car that was used in the Smokey and the Bandit. It is signed by Burt Reynolds. It makes you wonder if it actually is the car. I've seen a documentary about it. Yeah? It had different ones. Oh, so there was Even more than the one. That he used, yeah. It was different ones, but because he made it famous, yeah. he sign them. Some of the ones like this, you know what I mean? So maybe this wasn't used in the movie, but it's part but of that it's, collection. It's right, it, yeah. Oh, it's, okay. It's exactly what he would have been, you know. Yeah. Driving. It's still cool. He, died, he had, he had about three, I was watching uh, this, this show. Yeah. Uh, but they do cars and stuff. Yeah. Got this guy named, they call it. But anyway, it's in Vegas. The show is done out of Vegas. But anyway, he was, he, he, Reconditioned one of these, yeah, and it was one of the ones that Burke owned. But, it was, but he had Burke Reynolds actually owned about yeah. two or three different. Well, of these let's own. face it, it made his career. Okay, it did. without yeah. smoking the bandit, he was just another guy. He made Trans okay, Am yeah, because true, they made each other. They made each other. Yeah, because everybody wanted one after the yeah. movie. Even now, I like it. Even now, you know, if I can afford it. I'm, hey, this I'm, made my trip to the auto show right here. Just it, seeing this, it? That's I, 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 it's awesome. Day I had you know? to take a picture. Cause I'm, I got yeah. this movie at home on my thing, yeah. my collection, and I love this car. I love the color. Check this car. That, this is so cool. It's called the 1962 Austin Mini Countryman. Spiffy, go lightly. After visiting many car shows over the years with my car enthusiasm husband, Chris and I had seen my share of cool cars but never was wowed, and this card wowed it for them. I could see why they get excited about it. That is pretty neat. 
Look at that. The, the steering wheel is on the right side, so you wonder if this is from England, probably, possibly. It's pretty cool. Austin Mini, 1962 version. Here's a good look at the 2022 Subaru Forester. A little story for you guys. I almost end up having a, a 2018 Subaru Forester. My cousin was going into a nursing home and he still had one year left on his lease. However, Chase Bank, which was handling the lease, would not allow a title, a transfer of the lease to me. I wasn't willing to pick up the final year of his lease agreement but they wouldn't work with him on it. So I had to turn the car back to the Subaru dealership. And uh, I think he ended up getting charged because of early, you know, because he was going to a nursing home. He had, ended up getting charged for that final year, which is horrible for him. But that's how it is sometimes when you get in these leases and you can't fulfill them, even if you are, you know, never going to drive again, they will screw you to the very end. So you got to be careful with that. I'm sure maybe there's somebody out there that knows a little bit more than me about it. But being that I didn't know enough about it, you know, it didn't work out for my cousin. But it, the Forester is a very nice vehicle. It would have been nice to keep it in the family. So what did you guys think of the 2022 auto show here at the IX Center? Pretty impressive. Would you do this again? Absolutely. It was only, what, $15 to get in? And I paid yeah. for parking for all Yeah, months. parking was free, by the way. Don't let her lie to you, okay? So there you go. Thanks for watching The Great Indoors, everyone. And thanks again, Matt, for Thank coming for along with us. With us. We, it's always nice to have you with us in the videos. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great indoors day. Bye-bye.